Hello, I'm Steve. This is Bit of Munch. A few days ago, I reviewed a new Peter's epic roll, chicken and gravy. And in that video, I told you I'd bought one of the others. Well, here it is. Peter's epic roll, cheeseburger. A nice bit of cheese running through the middle of it. Hopefully there's more cheese than there was gravy in the other one. Hopefully. Right, £1.50 from Iceland. Did I already mention that? I might have done. I don't know. Seasoned beef topped with cheddar cheese sauce wrapped in puff pastry. And like the chicken and gravy one, there's loads of ingredients. But the important bits are 14% beef, 8% cheddar cheese sauce. And I was thinking, right, what's the other main ingredients in a cheeseburger? Well, obviously ketchup. And I was scouring these ingredients. And yes, about halfway down this immense list, it says tomato ketchup. So there's not going to be much, is there? So I will have my ketchup handy when I try it. Because it needs that. And also, the other important ingredient in a cheeseburger, onions. And it says onion powder. And I think it says... Oh, it says onion powder twice. It must be, onion powder must be an ingredient of something in it. Oh, and dried onion. But again, I doubt if you'll be able to taste much onion. But uh, I haven't got the onions to hand that I can put with it. But I have got ketchup. So, I'll do it in the air fryer. It takes, I think, 12 minutes. Oh, yeah, 12 minutes in the air fryer. Caution, filling will be hot. Well... Really? Well, thanks for telling me that. Uh, okay, cheeseburger roll. You can microwave it, of course, but air fry's got to be best, hasn't it? So I'll get it done, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Right, while that's cooking, I'm just deciding which ketchup to use. Because I've got, I've got Heinz. I've also got... Podlishki, which is my favourite. I use this one the most. And I've also got this uh, smoky ketchup, which, uh, if you watch my channel regularly, you will have seen this in quite a few of my videos. Uh, I get it from Home Bargains. I think it's 99p. I'm pretty sure it is. And this is really good. In fact, that is the, the perfect ketchup to have in a bacon sandwich. So I'm not sure which one I'll use. I will think about it. Tell you what, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that, because I'm recording this two or three days before you'll see it. But, uh, yeah, you never know, I might get your messages from the future. Ooh. <laughs> right, there it is. And yep. There's Rex. <laughs> as soon as I took this out of the air fryer and cut it in half, Rex came running through and jumped up on the worktop. I think he quite likes the smell of it. So uh, when we finish recording, I'll let him try a piece. He doesn't like eating on camera. He gets self-conscious. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the uh, cheeseburger roll. Is that what it's called? Oh, Epic Rolls Cheeseburger. Smelling it close up, does smell like a cheeseburger in pastry. It really does. Here's a bit of a story before I try it. My local, um, uh, when well, it was a butcher's and they did all like uh, sausage rolls and stuff like that as well, uh, warm ones. They also did a thing called a burger puff or cheeseburger puff. And it was a thing of wonder. It really was. A whole burger with cheese and uh, burger relish, totally encased in puff pastry. And, oh, it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. And this this butchers, they had quite a few around the area. And then they just sort of went under. They, they closed down. But yeah, these burger puffs were great. And the smell of this is reminiscent of those things. It really is. Right, I wonder if I can get the top off this. Yeah, 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 there we go. 
just so we can see how much cheese is in it. And uh, as you can see, hopefully I won't drop that, there's a decent amount. I think there's more cheese in this than there was gravy in the other one. Looks like it anyway. Might not need the ketchup. I still haven't decided which one I'm going to use, if, if I do use one. Right, let's see what it's like. You can taste the beef, you can taste the cheese, there's the merest, merest hint of ketchup taste there. The uh, meaty mixture is very, very soft, it's softer than the chicken one, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, I think it's going to need some ketchup. seasoned enough there's enough salt in it it's not over salty it's just the right amount but I'm going to add some ketchup to this and I'm going to use that one that's what I'm going to use now sometimes when you squirt this it squirts at a funny angle <laughs> come on there, there it goes. It's gone everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Just not exactly where I wanted it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's grab a knife. And just uh, get that sauce. Back in there. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. So, I've put, hey, I've put, oh, <laughs> I've put, I've put, I've put sauce in the groove. There we go. I've got a saucy groove now. Let's have a taste of it. And hopefully the sauce won't go all down my shirt. I'm going to lean forward just in case. Oh yes, that is what it needs. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll tell you what, Peter's, if you're watching, or even Peter himself. Hello, Pete. Um, if you're watching this, this is a good product. Put some ketchup in it. Oh, where the where the cheese is, put a line of ketchup like I've just done. And it will be better. And it will probably sell better. Because it's better. Mmm. <laughs> Oh yes. You imagine eating a cheeseburger with no ketchup in it, just cheese. No onions, just cheese. And it'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? And that's well this wasn't really boring, it was just didn't quite have it. But with that ketchup, it's got it. It really has. Yeah. Okay. So I think you know my verdict on this. Peter's Epic Rolls cheeseburger. Um, <laughs> as it comes from the pack, it's not epic. Now I've added the ketchup. It is epic. I love it. I would buy that one again. 
and I would add ketchup again. And you, what you could also do, if you want to really pimp it up, is add some fried onions and some pickles, if that's your thing. And some bacon. Yeah, you could go to town on this. <laughs> Just cook it up. Take the top off and load, add loads of other stuff. Then put the top back on. Yeah, my mind's on overdrive now. You can probably tell. Right, I'll go and enjoy the rest of that. And I will give some to Rex. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.